Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it's going to be Panic Restaurant, released in 1992 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, shortly after the Super Nintendo started gaining steam, sadly. So, it's more underrated than it should be, at least in my opinion. Game is rather notable for the music composer, Kenji Eno. He would later form Warp, which would bring us D, Enemy Zero, and D2, which are com usually considered one of the first forerunners to what would become the 3D horror survival genre, so to speak. Now that I've mentioned that, let's begin the game. You are O-Dove. You own a restaurant. One day you look up in the sky and fruit attacks you. Or rather it falls on your head, then you get attacked by an angry pumpkin. That also falls on you. Lightning occurs in the sky for some strange reason, and this guy named O'Dove, who looks a lot like Waluigi, but for season by several years, takes your restaurant away from you by force. Now you have to get it back with only your wits and a frying pan. If only that giant cooked chicken would stop chasing you. There are six stages, named after the six dishes, appetizer, soup, salad, fish, meat, and dessert. And judging by the map, it looks like you're going to have to take your restaurant away from O'Dove and reclaim it piece by piece until you make it to the basement where you basically beat him up after you catch him doing whatever it is he's doing. Thankfully, you won't have two hearts and a frying pan forever. There are other weapons, and you will be able to extend your health to up to four hearts. Which is the maximum. Which is good because you'll need to better prepare yourself against enemies other than these cooked chickens and carrots, which just come after you. At least they drop coins which you can use for the slot machine at the end of every stage. And I just got hit there, that was great. At least we have the spoon. Which gives us some longer range. As long as we don't get hit again. While we still have more than one unit of health, we can keep it. And that candy re, re regain that hit point we lost. At least you didn't lose those baguettes. Now it's time for the first first for the first boss, this popcorn cooker. And we get hit again. And he goes down after a mere six hits. When he explodes, take as many coins as you can get off of him. You get a time bonus for beating the stage. And we get our first one up at 20,000 points. Now, it's time for the slot machine. Three dollar signs will give us 10,000 points, which will give it, get us a little closer to another extra life, which we will have to fight for, both to get and to maintain. Three candy pieces will refill one part. Three lollipops will add a heart to our maximum health. We can have up to four, as I mentioned earlier. And three one-up hats will give us a one-up. With that being said, let's put our coins in with A button and watch this thing go. Nothing yet, but that will hopefully soon change. I hope to get at least a third heart out of this. That helps. Let's hope I don't get it again because it will be horribly wasted. And we get both a 1-up and an extra heart at the same time. That is great. Four hearts, yes! I am go doing very well right now. Stage 2, soup. We're now a little further inside the restaurant. We will see different enemies here. First one you see here is the... Pudding dish, which wiggles and jiggles whenever it stops. And even if I had ended the ended the level with the frying pan, I would have lost it here. Sadly, you go back to the frying pan at the end of every stage. At least we can get the spoon back really early here. Let's take care of those pizzas that just roll towards us, and then wait for the dumb waiter to come by. We don't want to drop into that pit. Take out the pieces, then climb up the ladder. 
take out these two pieces, then jump up to reveal the third so that we don't get the surprise bite as we climb up this ladder to do a mini game. Catch the fish! Use the A button to catch the fish. Do not catch the bomb or else you will prematurely end the minigame. The more fish you catch, the more points you'll get. This one is a little fun, I have to admit. Really fun. You get, like I think, like 100 points for every fish you get. Yep, 100 points. 1300 points, that guess is a little closer to another 1-up. Hopefully we can get one. And I'm doing well so far. Here's the garlic. Hit him once to knock him out. Or at least knock him out of his slumber. And then him again while he's exposed to get rid of him. As for the apples, you want to avoid the wedges that come out that it splits into whenever it jumps in the air when you get close enough. You can knock them out, but you're not going to get any coins for it, and you're more than likely going to get damaged on the way to knocking them away from you. Sometimes. That's where the spoon comes in. Whew, dodged a bullet there. The chandeliers shoot lightning at you. And I just knocked that apple right out of the air right there before it could really do anything. Thankfully... Waiting for the lightning to come down isn't really the hardest thing in the world. And we got a piece of candy to refill that health, that heart we just lost. Let's knock him out of the sky. Come on, get to the right, please. Thank you. Now we can get rid of these two guys, get the coins, and then get over here. Get this piece out of the way, and then we can grab this lock, which wasn't in the Japanese version. Speaking of which, the main character in the Japanese version wasn't an old guy. It was a much younger Japanese chap, and instead of a pan, you attacked with a headbutt. I might as well go ahead and show this bad boy off. You have to hold A in order to use its attack. Here's the problem, though. You basically have to hit dead center, or else you're going to lose it. Pretty much like that. It's the hardest weapon to use, and as a result, I really don't like it much. I just got it and then got rid of it just to show it off. And I'm going to wait for these guys, because, well, they're going to get in my way if I just continue right then and there. Yeah, get out of that apple's way. You may have noticed me grab a lollipop earlier. That lollipop would have added a heart to my maximum health if I didn't have four already. And now it's time for a microwave cooker. And chickens went to heaven. Chickens, why must you go? But, but no, just avoid that thing. Knock the chickens, it sends at you back. And you really shouldn't have any problems against that second boss. That's basically all there is to it. At least I didn't die here, so I have a lot of coins. If you die, you still have all you still have your health extensions, but you're back at the frying pan, obviously, and you lose all your coins. Which makes the slot machine at the end of every stage less fun. So let's see what I can get here. Uh, close to another one-up, but not quite. Come on, come on. That didn't really help. I still appreciate 10,000 points at this time. <sighs> Nothing. The only thing I can really get are the points in the one-up. That would at least be of use to me. Health refill. Or rather, heart refill. Even if I did get get the right one, it still wouldn't have helped. Yes! Starting this bad boy off with five lives. I'm loving this LP so far. Hmm. Oh well. Stage three. Salad. We're basically in the center of the restaurant, or rather, we're in the patio. As 
indicated by that table and chair outside of the building. Well, it looks like we're headed towards the patio, but we're in the kitchen now, actually. I keep forgetting that the uh, patio is stage four, which we'll probably be seeing in the next video. Join me next time where I go through stages three and four. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.